Hey, what's going on? This is Stephen C. Raphael, the OMAD man. All right. All right. I would like to first start off by saying please uh, subscribe to my station. We've got like 500 people almost watching, and I would like to... I usually do the show, my thing, but I, I've, uh, I've got my... I bought this jacket 15 years ago for my wife when... Uh, uh, for just on a whim, and uh, she can't fit into it anymore, but you know what? I can fit into it just fine. Isn't it incredible? I've got jeans on. If I have my sunglasses on, it look like I can go uh, on my Harley Davidson, which I don't have. Okay, I wanted to tell you something. If you're going on OMAD one meal a day, don't tell anyone. I'm telling you. Don't tell anyone what you're doing because everybody will say, where are you going to get your protein? So you gotta have protein, fats, and carbs. Oh my, protein, fats, and carbs. Oh my, a little bit of protein, fats, and carbs. Don't just eat a whole bunch of junk food and, uh, and make a, a meal out of that. And when you drink coffee, just have black coffee. No cream or sugar, because that's extra added um, calories. Not only that, it's gonna spike your insulin. What insulin is, is that when you eat, your insulin goes, ooh, doo, 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 get you back down. Okay, so. With your pancreas and all that kind of stuff, it just charges it. Okay, for people that have never seen this show before, um, this is what I used to look like. I won't waste time with the subscribers that see this. This is my before and after picture. And this is me in my leather jacket. And I got my red shirt on today. Now, let's see. I would just want to say one thing. Okay, the basics of the mad. let me get this out of the way. Take one plate, eat one time a day. Your body will get used to it. 23 hours of fasting. Fasting is great. Every sage, every religious person, and every smart person. In fact, Socrates didn't even let you into the classroom unless you have uh, fasted. Seriously. Boy, he was strict. Okay. Um, you know, one thing I'm just... This doesn't really have that much to do with... Uh, it has a little to, to do with OMAD. But every single time, you know, you, you see these little commercials on uh, YouTube. And it says, like, would you like to be rich? I was sleeping on a couch i was sleeping under a moose i was in a trailer under a trailer and now i li look at my mansion you want to be rich sell thing you know the thing about it is i don't see any go see any ads go would you like to be happy would you like to you know be less stressed out i don't see any of those ads popping up for some reason so just thought i'd throw that in okay when you go to a pizza buffet or a chinese buffet or a food buffet get one plate put it with your favorite stuff I went to a place called the Chicken Ranch yesterday. I had one plate, I put a whole bunch of salad, not just uh, just uh, lettuce stuff, but just, um, you know, put a, a vegetables and all that kind of stuff, and a little bit, so I got a little bit of protein, fats, and carbs. Oh my, protein, fats, and carbs, oh my. So, and then a little bit of uh, dressing, light Italian, and then I put a, a piece of boneless, breastless uh, chicken, um, actually, they didn't have breastless bone. They had skin, and so I ate it. So what? I can have skin on my... I've lost all this weight now, and so I had a little bit of that, and um, so... But I just had the one plate, and uh, um, I just wanted to say that um, when I was really overweight, you know, <laughs> I had asked the doctors if I was a man. I am a man, I am a man, apparently I am a man. I am a man, I am a man. My wife knew I was a man when I got married because I wasn't that overweight. But going back to the jacket there, not to knock anyone, but she can't fit into it anymore. But you know who can? Me. And I can't tell you how, it's just, it looks incredible. I asked my daughter, how do you think this looks? She goes, you look like an Italian pilot. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Okay, uh, when, you, when I go to the movie theaters now, um, if it's not five o'clock, I don't buy popcorn. As a matter of fact, I've, I wouldn't, have my meal at five o'clock. Um, I wouldn't go to a movie, I mean, at five o'clock. Uh, but if I did, maybe I'd get a little popcorn. But I wouldn't want to eat my one meal a day. Uh, you have to sit down at a table. I wouldn't want to eat it in the dark, okay? Um, now, I like to say, do you have balloonation? You know, I've noticed that... Uh, um, I've noticed that a lot of women... Um, they have beautiful hair all teased up, different color, and their eyes, makeup, and they take pride in their nails and all that kind of stuff. But do they have balloon nation? I mean, if, if you get in the morning, wake up, take your clothes off, and look in the mirror. If you are fat, you know, 
your brain is gonna work slower because there's gonna be sugar around your brain. A lot of people out there that are watching this, my 500 subscribers, are going uh, probably have pre-diabetes. You know, you can now, you couldn't do this before, you can go to a pharmacy for $19, get a little test, there's a little thing that goes like this. There's no pain and you squeeze a little bit out, put it on the strip, and it'll tell you if you have pre-diabetes, possibly a lot of you have diabetes. And um, so, be more concerned about your weight than you are about your, um, about your um, hair and clothes. Why are minivans, they're not mini anymore, or SUVs or garage doors bigger. I saw, I was in the hospital the other day and I saw the wheelchairs were even getting bigger. In fact, I saw one that was so big, I thought it was a couch. <laughs> I just made that one up. Okay, so let's see. I haven't played any music today. I was fat, now I'm thin. I used to have a double chin. What can I say? Okay, let's see another thing I want to tell you about it. It is time for Chinese proverb time. I might go with my old Chinese man voice, but I have to, okay. If you want to know the road ahead, ask those who are coming back. Let's try it again. If you want to know the road ahead, ask those that are coming back. In other words, I've been to the mountain. I've been to the hill. I've been to the place where I've been to the I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was chomping and chomping and chomping all day, but now I feel so. I'm going to go with an F minor chord, a conclusion chord. I feel so good. Ooh. Tell me the secret. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. Tell me the secret. Here it is. Eat one meal a day. That's about it. I want to keep my show going, but there's not much more I can say about it. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you don't sleep, if you wake up all the night long and you don't get your eight, your, I just need about six hours now because I'm so hyper. Um, you're going to be hungry. So uh, first off, you're going to be hungry. Andy. The first week of this is very, very hard very hard and you know when you're driving to work or wherever you know i want you to notice all the billboards out of 10 of them i think nine and a half will be about food or advertise i mean there or, or radio ads or all that stuff everything is about food these days what's for breakfast you know you know gas stations you know what they used to sell gas now they don't they just break even on gas that's not why they're there they're there for the for the two hot dogs for a dollar or whatever. You know, the airlines, you know, all those flights, they're not making money on that. They're making money on selling egg salad sandwiches for $14. Okay, that's a little joke. Okay, now, um, I don't even consider eating before. I don't even, uh, let's try classical style. I don't even consider eating any time before. Five o'clock, I am telling you, I won't. Oh, you know, I feel like eating, but I know that we'll be cheating. One more time and one more meal today. I just watched my shows back and I'm like, gosh, all you do is talk to the camera. I want to do some music once in a while. Okay, um, okay, so let's see. Uh, there's food everywhere. There's so many ads. If you drive to work, you will count by listening on the radio to ads and looking on the billboards and all that kind of stuff, everything. I was just watching one of my earlier videos. Oh, it's already been my nine minutes and 23 seconds. Watching one of my early videos and I was saying, 
You know, the second video I've ever done, I go, you know, you're gonna, before I was the OMAD man, you're gonna be hungry. And uh, if the basics of OMAD is just take one plate of food, a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fats, a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fats, oh my, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, protein, carbs and fats, oh my, and just black coffee or water. Okay, what else? Uh, let's see, okay, you know, you know how your car drives you at all these places? You know your car takes you places? Well, you're all wrong. Your car doesn't take you anywhere. You tell your car where to go. And as far as um, OMAD, the best part about it is I have total sense of control. No matter where I go, if I want to eat that, I will if I want to eat that. But it has to be at 5 o'clock. At 4, 3, I see if it acts, that's, that's uh, Swedish, uh, uno, dos, tres, what else is there? I know a lot of different languages, and, and uh, yeah, tick, sarang, then pig, Okay, subscribe to my station. Okay, let's see. Now I was watching one of my old videos with uh, um, Courtney Cox of the uh, Six Miles to Supper, and one thing I said is, you know, after about two months, I was like, I got this food thing down. I was a peacock walking around. I got this. So I had a little popcorn one night with a movie. Yes, the old man, man did that to, to experiment. The next day, my body remembered it and all I wanted to do was eat. All I wanted was to eat the, um, was eat the next day, my body remembered that, that I had popcorn. Cavemen don't eat all day long. I mean, uh, they, they, you know, they eat probably once a day when they, well, millions of years ago, whenever, you know. And I tried Weight Watchers. I tried Weight Watchers. It didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous. It didn't last. I tried so many things. I tried so many things. And it never, ever, 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 it never, ever stuck. It never, ever stuck. I'm gonna go for a C minor arpeggio. It never stuck. The only thing that's ever stuck is OMAD is the lifestyle for me. It's not a diet. OMAD. Oh, raise your flag and tell people once you've lost your weight. OMAD. 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 OMAD is the diet for me. The only thing that's ever worked, it's been 12 minutes and 12 seconds. Oh my gosh, I've been fooling around way too long. Okay, um, if you're on the wall about overeating, like, okay, you, you've had your one meal a day, a little bit of protein, carbs, and protein, fats, and carbs, if you had that, and it's like, should I have a little bit of something to eat? If you're Humpty Dumpty, you're on a wall, you're gonna, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall, so just, Make up your mind. Kaidir in Latin means decide. Cut. You're going to have it. And if you could do it for two or three days, you're going to get so much self-respect and happiness. You're going to get a flat stomach. I'm doing my mind, palace. I'm up to 40. Number uh, 13, you're going to have better blood pressure. You're going to have save money, save time, save so many stuff. Be patient. The first week you're going to lose, you're going to lose. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this was me. Please subscribe to my station. I have, sorry I was a little hyper today. Whenever I put on my leather jacket, I want to rumble. Okay, 13 minutes and 13 seconds. I want to thank you guys. Thank you for 500 subscribers, almost. And when I do, I'll put on my tuxedo just for you. Even the girl is everybody. And, uh... I am a man, I am a man, apparently I am a man, but I am a strong man. And I'm going to be going out and I'm going to be having a good time, just like I did like when I was in middle school. Um, I want to tell you that I like you all. One thing real quick with, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like Facebook and all that stuff. And I started off on Facebook on um, OMA D stuff. When you send me a comment and then, it, and then it says reply, that's not just for me. That's for all of you other people. We got to stick together with this. If, you're having, if somebody says, hey, I'm having great results, then if somebody else say, hey, I am getting good results with this. So you guys network with each other because we got to stay together. I like you. Sorry I was a little wild today. I like you.